Gas prices have gone ballistic. The price of petrol or gas here in Australia has literally doubled over the past 12 months. Yes, we were at very, very low lows about a year ago, but now it's doubled. So how much cheaper is it to actually run an electric vehicle? Well, it turns out the difference is absolutely staggering and it's never been bigger. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. If you are new, this channel hasn't been around all that long, less than a year, but we have made more than a thousand videos about electric vehicles, about NEO, Xpeng, BYD, what the, who those car companies are, why you should know about them, about CATL, about sodium batteries, about what's happening in the Asian market, what's going to happen in the Europe, European market, about the disruption that's happening right now. So make sure you check out some of those videos. Getting to the point, electric cars are now three to six times cheaper to drive in the US as gas prices are getting higher and more volatile. I think that difference is, well, big, but it's not as big as the difference as it, it is here in Australia and in Europe. Yes, gas prices in the US are unbelievably cheap. In fact, gas prices in the US are nearly half the price that it costs in Australia and Europe. Seriously. So if it's three to six times different, then you can say six to 12 times different here in Australia and Europe. And this is just this is just an average number. It's not a specific number. I'm just giving you an idea of just how great this is. And obviously it's gonna be different in different states and comparing different countries and different days and different minutes of the day. But just to give you a, a good idea here, the price to drive an electric car is massively cheaper and has never been different. It is now compared to gas. Gas is insanely expensive. And if you drive me a gas vehicle, you are paying a ballistic amount of money right now to drive that car in comparison to what you would be if you were driving an electric car. The other thing to consider is that if you have solar on your roof, well, the difference is even greater than those numbers I just quoted. Now, the electric says that the fact that electric vehicles are more efficient and less costly to operate than their gas-powered counterparts is not new information. We already all knew this, right? Except for the morons out there who claim these totally ballistic, totally ridiculous non numbers and they claim that it's not the case. And obviously, there's people who don't like change and they just don't like the fact that something new is here, something new and better is here. And they're, they're scared and they want to hold on to their old product so they claim that this isn't true, but it is actually true. Gas prices have been historically volatile, but even more so amidst the Russian invasion in Ukraine and the restrictions on the former country, which happens to be a large producer of oil and gas. Across the US, gas prices have risen to over $4.20 a gallon on average. Absolute bargain if we could get it for that price here in Australia. We can't. But in many regions in the US, prices are over $5, and in California, in many places, over $6. The Zero Emission Transportation Association, or ZETA, has released a new paper that calculated how this increase is affecting the cost of operation in comparison with electric cars. According to their paper, the gas price increase is now making electric vehicles between three to six times cheaper than gas-powered vehicles, depending on the state. They said, overall, as of March 2022, driving an EV is dramatically cheaper per mile than driving a gas-powered vehicle. Nationally, EVs are 35 times cheaper to drive per mile than gas-powered vehicles in Arizona, Florida, Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. Some EVs are five to six times cheaper to drive. That doesn't include if you factored having solar panels into the equation, though. Unfortunately, the graphics in the report are not great at visualizing how much cheaper EVs are compared to ICE cars, but just focus on the numbers. The average electricity price per kilowatt hour, 14 cents as of December 2021. The average gas price per gallon, $4.32 as of March 10th. Now, I just keep looking at that $4.32 and thinking, if only that was the price here in Australia, that would be amazing. So yeah, you guys have it a lot better than us. You can see the point here though, right? The point is that gas-powered vehicles cost a lot of money to operate. And this doesn't factor in the enormous difference in servicing costs as well. And the fact that electric vehicles last so much longer as well. 
Now, I really like this little thing here that says the total fueling cost of a Ford F-150 pickup would be 99 US dollars. But for a Ford F-150 Lightning pickup, it would be only 13 US dollars. 13 versus 99. That is insane. So Zeta has compared the Ford F-150, the Toyota RAV4, and the Honda Civic to the F-150 Lightning, the Rivian R1T, and Tesla Model 3. You can see this is a comparison between a full tank of gas and a full battery pack for these vehicles. But more interestingly, here's a comparison of the cost per actual mile, because that's what's most relevant, clearly. The Ford F-150 costs 20 cents per mile, whereas the Ford F-150 Lightning costs 6 cents per mile. Now, I really like the Honda Civic comparison. Now, that's sort of the average car, right? Honda Civic, 13 cents per mile. Tesla Model 3, 3 cents per mile. And I know a lot of you Tesla Model 3 owners do have solar. So you're probably paying zero cents per mile. Now, realistically, what are we seeing right now? We're hearing that gas prices are actually going to increase. It's not going to get better anytime soon. If anything, it's going to get worse. These numbers could be even worse in a month's time. Here's what the publication said. This month's consumer price index shows once again that gas prices are surging, which has been exacerbated by Putin's invasion of Ukraine. American families are losing money at the pump to a commodity that is increasingly unpredictable and unaffordable in an already expensive pandemic year. Our analysis shows that American consumers don't have to choose between driving their car or saving money. Electric vehicles are affordable now. The cost per mile difference is much more significant in some regions of the US, such as California, where the price is closer to US $6 per gallon. Still cheap compared to Australia and Europe, but very expensive in comparison to its historical averages. So if we look at the cost of electricity and the cost of fuel, gasoline, in California, we get an idea of what it's like to run a Tesla Model 3 versus a Honda Civic. The Honda Civic, which is obviously smaller than a Tesla Model 3, especially in terms of in its interior space, costs 17 cents per mile whereas a Tesla Model 3 costs $0.05 cents per mile. One other thing to keep in mind, not only are EVs cheaper to operate, to own, more hassle-free, but also they reduce dependency on foreign dictatorships, foreign rogue oil producers like Russia and some Arab countries who don't have a good record with when it comes to human rights. That's a win-win. You can produce your own electricity at home to power your own vehicle very, very affordably now. That, in my view, is the best thing to do. Thanks for watching the channel, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.